Hello! In this video, we'll look at how Oracle integration boosts developer productivity with pre-built accelerators. Accelerators are supported, extensible, and upgradable integrations designed to solve common business use cases. Accelerators can be found in the integration store right from the home page. Here we have an accelerator to streamline order management operations between Shopify and Oracle ERP Cloud. Installing an accelerator is as easy as clicking the install button. The accelerator is installed in an integration project to consolidate the configuration and management of the various integration assets that make up this accelerator. One of those configurations is to define how the integrations will connect with the underlying applications, Shopify and Oracle ERP Cloud. Defining a connection typically involves specifying attributes such as the application endpoint and security protocol. And if we ever need help, we can always use our embedded conversational AI to provide some quick and contextual answers. Of course, integrations are where we orchestrate the various activities between the applications. This accelerator contains an integration to create an ERP cloud purchase order when a Shopify order is placed, and another to update the Shopify order fulfillment once the purchase order is closed. If we look at the order fulfillment integration, we see that it starts with a trigger from Oracle ERP Cloud when the purchase order is closed. It then proceeds to get the purchase order details, get the Shopify order details, and then create the Shopify order fulfillment record. If we drill down into the Shopify create order fulfillment operation, we can see how the pre-built integration is populating the order fulfillment record with the data previously collected in the integration. This is all good, but we notice the accelerator is not using the notify customer field. This field directs Shopify to notify the customer when the order has been fulfilled. So we want to extend this integration to send the customer notification. And to do so, we simply select the Shopify create order fulfillment operation and click extend. From here, we can give our extension a useful name and then use the data stitch activity to set the notify customer field. We can configure the data stitch activity by finding the notify customer field. Now, these business objects can be very large and complex, so let's just search for the field that we want. And now we can set the notify customer field, indicating we want the notification sent. So all is good and we can deploy the integration for this accelerator. So we've been successfully running our integration, and if we fast forward a bit, we see that Oracle has released an update to this accelerator. We can install the upgrader version as we did before with a single click. And if we look at the project, we see there is a new version of the fulfillment integration. Of course, it was the 1.0 version that we extended, but if we open the new version, it automatically detects our extensions and prompts us to merge them. Looking at the details of the new version, we see indeed our extension has been merged. So give our new accelerators a try to increase developer productivity and start automating your business. Thanks for watching.